Yo, this is Fling, and today we are looking back at the Battle Royale Week 1. We're doing a Week 1 review of the winning lineup and how I did in the contest. So let's get into it. All right. So we're going to take a look. I ended up winning a little bit of money and this only did six entries week one, but uh, yeah, ended up having about $5 profit and really just had some bad variants because uh, David Njoku got hurt, uh, I think in the third quarter, but he was getting targeted heavily. You know, if he stays in the game, gets a few more targets um, and a touchdown, I'm probably really sitting pretty because place 460th in this contest and the difference between where I was and like the top 100 was a matter of three points. So certainly could have been a different day. Um, Anthony Richardson ended up being the highest scoring quarterback on the slate. I believe I did this live draft actually. So that's something I'm going to do on this channel. So make sure you are subscribed if you're not a subscriber and uh, you'll get more, uh, I guess, jewels like doing some live drafts. So um, you know, kind of talk through my process here, but essentially we had Anthony Richardson was a guy that I had targeted that you could run naked because of his rushing ability. Um, I liked Devin H on as kind of a, a pivot off of Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. Like, you know, basically Tyreek Hill was going one in all the drafts. He was going the first spot or the second spot. So essentially my thought process is if, is what is the scenario that Tyreek Hill fails and this lineup kid gets to the top of the leaderboards? And that would have been Jalen Waddle and Devin H. on getting all the tutties. Jalen Waddle was very close to a much bigger day. He had a long reception that almost turned into a touchdown, um, but didn't. You know, he could have easily had a 20, 25 point day, but um, still did pretty good for this lineup. And then uh, Nico Collins wasn't enough for Nico Collins. I had a little, uh, another team stack there um but yeah wasn't quite enough from nico i needed more and needed david njoku not to get hurt overall um the lineup did pretty good i would have needed more from waddle as well but you know in a large field gpp like the battle royale sixty-eight thousand entries never gonna get pissed off about uh taking a profit so never go broke taking a profit now we are going, and obviously it was a low scoring week. So yeah, me scoring 106 points, but first place only scored 125. That's how it was a profitable week. Profitable week, and really it was a split for first place. So uh, both of these guys had um, 125 08. And as you just saw, as I said, Anthony Richardson was the top scoring quarterback on the slate. Now, what was different with this lineup is really just the wide receivers um, hit. Tyreek Hill. And like I said, he was going first overall. So you kind of wanted to do enough drafts that you were able to, to draft Tyreek Hill. You were able to get that one spot and then just, you know, really draft perfectly. But he was key is having that one spot. And then, uh, so it was Anthony Richardson and then Elvin Kamara, Joe Mixon. These were the top two backs. Um, uh, Kamara, he was going 15 and, uh, he was picked right above 15. Um, and Mixon, 36. So he was actually, he fell a little bit. It was picked after ADP. So that's good to see a little bit of value there. Um, and I don't think Mixon, you know, he wasn't stacked. So no Houston and Indy, or actually this was Anthony Richardson with a Joe Mixon bring back. Um, and then we had, of course, Tyreek Hill. There were no stacks with Tyreek Hill. Mike Evans was a one-off as well. These were both obviously in really good spots. Tampa Bay was favored against Washington. They had a pretty high implied team total. Same thing with Miami versus Jacksonville. They were favored at home. And Tyreek Hill, of course, is a guy that smashes week one. It's it's pretty much become a yearly tradition. Not even the police can keep him from smashing week one. Um, if you saw what happened, he basically got pulled over, got detained right by the stadium, and then they let him go, luckily. But uh he ended up doing pretty well on the slate. Handcuffs, no problem. He even had a, a touchdown celebration with a handcuff. So it was pretty funny. But uh, um, so, yeah, this was pretty much it. Um, it was a bad week for tight ends. Kyle Pitts really, um, you know, did was one of the better performing tight ends. So ADP of 26, he went number 25. So pretty good stuff. 
And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for week one. So this is something I will do each and every week, looking at the top performing lineup, as well as giving uh, my plays. We're going to do dropping about Thursday and Friday, uh, most overvalued and undervalued players in each round of the draft. And uh, of course, we'll be doing some live drafts as well. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. If you like this kind of content, let me know. Hit that like button. Comment. Let me know how this contest went for you this past week. And of course, um, stay tuned as we will have more coming on the channel.